Hey guys, um, yeah, just working on a new uh, lap timer system for the E30. It's taken me a wee while to sort of get all the bits together for it. Um, I'll sort of show you what's going on here. It's um, obviously just doing a bit of a proof of concept whether things are going to fit or not. Um, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see all this, but uh, we'll give it a go. Uh, so as on the roof, you can see the, uh, the GPS. Um, that's not permanent. That'll be uh, mounted in the vehicle. Chrono software running. Um, that's just hanging off the um, stereo at the moment. Um, I went and purchased a, um, a, a mount for the for the screen. This is a uh, touch screen, which is uh, it allows you to sort of work through this. Um, let me just go back here. Um, this works with my uh, my race gloves on as well, which is uh, really cool. Um, one of the problems I was having when um, going around the circuit, I'd spend ages mucking around with the, the little laptop down there that's driving the whole thing. Um, while everyone else was sort of out racing on the track, I was trying to get that going or up and running. Um, so that, this system allows me to just just do it on the fly. Uh, the, the cool thing is, if you can see the dash, apart from it being uh, just sitting it out on the stereo at the moment, but um, uh, that will all be flush mounted. Um, and the cool thing is what I've done, what I'm going to be doing, is that mount just there which is attached to the stereo. And um, I was very, very lucky that that mount actually attaches fine to the stereo. Um, goes through the uh, the clock hole there. So I've just removed the clock. Uh, so that arm will be going through the clock hole and um, mounting onto the back of the Visa 75 mount of the uh, screen here. So the other cool thing about the screen, apart from it being touch screen, is um, it's all the power um, and the graphics and the touch screen all go down one USB cable here. So this, this cable here, um, it's only one cable into the back um, I can control, well, I can turn it off, I can control brightness, which is really handy if I was ever racing at night, uh, turn it right up, um, it's, it claims that it's uh, some of the brightest, um, brightest LCD technology that's out at the moment, uh, number it is, 800 or something. <laughs> Um, but uh, obviously it works well in uh, direct sunlight, or, you know, sunlight in the cabin, which is cool. Great thing is, I can remove this whole system and um, grab the E30 clock here. I can put that back in and return my uh, interior to stock, which I'm pretty stoked about. So just uh, a few wee features here. Um, so I can switch to live view. It obviously gives my um, my best lap or previous lap, um, it's obviously running on old uh, old data so it's <laughs> counting pretty high. Uh, you can race around, obviously race around the track, uh, well, the great thing with Race Chrono is it uh, changes between green and red if you're, uh, if you're under or over um, your previous or um, best times. Uh, you can toggle to satellite view with the map, um, this obviously looks pretty ugly where I live. Uh, this is set to Hampton Down, so it's scribbling all over the screen. Uh, it's got your satellites down in the uh, bottom left there. Uh, back to satellite view. Uh, I can go back fairly easily. I'll, I won't run down too much of this. Uh, you can just click on your on your lap times there. Um, and the cool thing with this is you can just scroll through. So I can do all this with my gloves on. I can select, go to my uh, go to my times for that particular lap open up all the detail and the cool thing is you can just this is all just touch screen you can zoom in uh, zoom out and yeah you get the idea